Though the return of the XFL lasted only five games, it looked like a promising football league until the coronavirus hit. Let's give one last look at the standings and stats before the league closes for good. Looking at the season standings, through five games obviously, the Houston Roughnecks were the regular season champions with an undefeated 5-0 record. The next two teams were the St. Louis Battlehawks and the New York Guardians, who each finished 3-2. The Dallas Renegades and the LA Wildcats both had a 2-3 record, and the Tampa Bay Vipers and the Seattle Dragons had a league-worst 1-4 record. Checking out on the stat leaders, quarterback PJ Walker, who has since signed an NFL contract with the Carolina Panthers, led the XFL with 1,338 passing yards in those five games for Houston. Los Angeles Wildcats quarterback Josh Johnson finished second by a while with 1,076 passing yards. Vipers running back Davion Smith had 365 rushing yards to lead the XFL, and St. Louis rusher Matt Jones had 314 yards for a second place finish. Houston receiver Cam Phillips totaled 465 receiving yards, more than 100 yards ahead of the next best receiver, Dan Williams from Tampa Bay, who had 338. Another player from Tampa Bay, Steven Johnson, led the league with 48 tackles. New York Guardians defensive lineman Kevon Walker had 4.5 sacks, which was 1.5 sacks more than the next best lineman. Dietrich Nichols from Houston had three interceptions, the most picks from any NF XFL player. All in all, the XFL was an opportunity for players who didn't make the cut for the NFL to have a second chance and prove themselves. P.J. Walker certainly thrives in a moment, as he will now be the Panthers' likely backup quarterback. In other news, the Cincinnati Bengals have reportedly told LSU quarterback Joe Burrow he will be the number one overall pick in the upcoming draft on Thursday. Thanks for tuning in to Sportsified News, and be sure to check out our website at sportsifiednews.wixsite.com home.